So um, let's do another um, KSP problem, which is solubility product uh, problem. But this one's a little harder, so um, we're actually going. We'll be going from the KSP and figuring out what the molar solubility is. So um, this problem says at 25 degrees Celsius, the KSP of barium iodate is 6.0 times 10 to the negative 10. What is the molar solubility of barium iodate? Okay, so do you remember what? the chemical formula or the formula unit that barium iodate is? BA uh, I of 3 Uh huh, very good 2 Yeah, okay So it's a 1 minus charge, okay? So, and I'm sure you remember the barium like courses So, that's the precipitate there, right? And we're going to figure out what it came from well, how many barium ions do we need? Just one, one right? And iodate ions, we're going to have two of them. Okay, so that relative um, concentration is important for the problem. Okay, so what we know now also is um, what the solubility product equation would be, right? So, it's not just not that we know what KSP is, but we know how we should come up with it, right? So, in other words, KSP equals the concentration of what? Barium, Barium ions. Yeah, yeah, very good. Times that concentration. Squared, right? Okay. What else do we know about this, right? So we can say, let's set these, let's set barium equal to x, the barium 2 plus ions, okay? So we don't know the concentration. So normally we would know the molar solubility of um, this, but that's what we're looking for, right? So we're going to have to figure out, well, what's the relative molar solubilities of are the relative concentrations of these to get the molar solubility of this, okay? So we know that we, if concentration of Ba2 plus is x, right, the concentration of IO3 minus must be what? 2x. 2x, okay? So that's what I was getting at. Mm -hmm. Kind of a convoluted way of saying it, but um, I didn't want to give it away too easily. So now we know what these concentrations are, right? Relatively to each other. Not the actual values, but we know what they are relative to each other. Mm -hmm. And in fact, when we solve for x, x will actually be, and you'll see this, the molar solubility. Right? And that's, of course, in moles. Of the barium iodide. Okay, of the precipitate. Okay, so this is how you would do these types of problems. We'll do one more after this just to kind of solidify it in your mind. But anyways, so instead of having these in there, we're going to substitute for x and 2x. Okay, so, um, and we know Ksp too. So let's, but we're going to rearrange to solve for x. Okay, so um, Ksp is going to equal x times 2x squared, right? Okay, so 2x squared, that's going to be times x, right, is going to be 4x cubed, right? Because 2x squared is 4x squared, right? Mm -hmm. um, times x is x cubed. Mm -hmm. And that's going to equal ksp, right? So, if KSP equals 6.0 times 10 to the negative 10, then X is going to equal 6.0 times 10 to the negative 10 divided by 4, right? And then take the cube root of that. Or you can think of it as raising it to the third. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, let's do that. Did you have a question there? 
to the negative third? You raise it? No, it's to the third. It's okay. the positive third. So anyways, 6 negative 10 divided by 4. And that's what I'm going to do now. So raise it to 1 divided by 3. That's the way to put it into your calculator. I think there's a cube root somewhere in here, but I don't know what it is. So. Okay, and then what do I get? 5. Five point three times ten to the negative four. Okay, so that's the number. It's molar solubility though that we're looking for. So what are the units going to be? Moles per liter. Moles per liter. And that's so I can't remember what temperature, what did it say? Twenty-five degrees Celsius. Yeah, so that's going to be the molar solubility of barium iodate. at 25 degrees C. Okay, does that make sense how to do that? Mm -hmm. So again, it's a little bit trickier because you got to think of relative concentrations even though you don't know the actual concentration. So now, if you really wanted to, you could go back and figure out, well, what would the concentration of, what would the, con let's do that right now. What would the concentration of barium need to be? 5.3. 5.3. Yeah, and then, um, iodate, Ten, four, two times that, right? Two times. Whatever that is, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, we could figure it out. We'll let, we'll let, um, we'll, we'll put that as A and B or B and C for the problem okay. on the worksheet. Okay, any questions on this one? Okay, cool.